Two elderly Dalit farmers in Tamil Nadu found themselves entangled in a web of controversy and alleged harassment. 72 years old Kannayan and 66 years old Krishnan, uh, who are both brothers, received unexpected summons from the Enforcement Directorate in July 2023, accusing them of money laundering. Now, what's bewildering is that at that point in time, they reportedly had a mere 450 rupees in their bank account as revealed by their lawyer Dalit G. Pravana. The enforcement directed summons added a layer of complexity to an already simmering dispute over agricultural land with G. Guna Shekhar, a senior leader of the BJP Salim East Wing. The brothers' residents of Attur owned just 6.5 acres and their ongoing feud with Gunashekar had escalated to allegations of land grabbing. Despite the ED ultimately closing the case due to public outcry, the brothers continue to face challenges. Krishnan speaking to the Indian Express claimed harassment by Gunashekar and his team on January 4th. Krishnan said, and I quote, This morning, Gunashekar and his team abused us, including using casteist slurs. We have been fighting a case against Gunashekar since 2020 over attempted land grab. He and his men did not let us farm our land for three years. The roots of the money laundering accusations trace back to a 2017 incident involving the brothers setting up unauthorized electric fencing that led to the deaths of two Indian bison. Despite their acquittal in 2021, the ED reopened the case, citing an overlooked detail. Tamil Nadu BJP spokesperson Narayan Tirupati told the Indian Express to say the BJP has no role to play in the entire episode. The ED summons have nothing to do with the land dispute between Gunashekar and the farmers. In fact, both parties have filed multiple cases against each other, including both civil and criminal. Meanwhile, Krishnan recounted a challenging encounter with ED officials, accusing them of denying legal representation and attempting to intimidate them during interrogation. The lawyer Pravina alleged further injustice, claiming police reluctance to file an FIR against ED officials. She stated that the brothers had to mortgage their land to afford legal representation and now they face the burden of repayment, despite the baseless nature of the PMLA case. As this complex case unfolds, the elderly Dalit farmers find themselves caught between legal battles, alleged harassment and a system that raises questions about justice and fairness.